spoil them. Shh. Hang on a minute. Where's Gail? It's just Sarah Louise wants her breakfast. It's all right. I can see to her. <laughs> hey! You're afraid we got one. Keep me voiced out. Where's Gail? Come on, where's Gail? I tell you later. You just get back into bed and I'll bring you up a cup of coffee. Gail, you get over there. Hey, puppy. Look, uh, you go and watch TV and I'll make you breakfast in a minute, OK? Dad, Mama. Um, well, I'll tell you when I come down. All right. Come on, come here. Where's Gail, eh? It's all very simple. Alf was taken poorly, so she spent the night with her mother. <laughs> now, why don't you get back into bed and let me see to the children? Thanks for stopping with me. Oh, it's what daughters are for. How do you feel? Well, I thought we'd lost him. I thought that were it. Oh, God knows what I'd have done. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'll be all right after I've had someone to eat. I better tell Deirdre. It's okay. I'll tell her. You get off. Oh, well, will you? Listen, I'll tell her I'll pop into the shop on my way back to the hospital, all right? Okay. Oh. Thanks, See you. lovely. Bye. Bye. Oh, how is it? Well, not as serious as it was last night. It is hard. No, no, not this time. No, they've done some more tests. I reckon it might be acute indigestion. They're not sure. It couldn't be connected with that daft stunt he pulled yesterday, could it? What stunt's that? Well, he ate one of those puddings all in one go in the Rovers. What? Whatever for? <laughs> it's a long story. Doesn't Audrey know? Uh, no, I don't think he mentioned that. Mm. Any news to Councillor Roberts? Well, he's better than he was, but they're keeping him in. You know, I haven't slept a wink. Well, he's out of danger. And uh, Mrs. Roberts? She's gone home for a couple of hours and she said to say she'll be in later. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. I don't think he'd be so concerned. Not exactly bosom buddies, are they? It was Percy Golden Alf that made him eat the pudding. I don't think I want to hear this story. No. Yeah. Anyway, I've not got time. I better get home and see what's going on there. Oh, Martin will have everything under control. Martin, you're joking. He was out boozing last night. No, no, it was Carmel that got landed. Uh, which reminds me, um, I'll have a small box of those chocolates. Oh. Nicky, you come and get your breakfast. Watching telly. We'll switch it off and come and get it. I'm watching something. Look! What you do as I tell you, hey? Your breath's horrible, it stinks. Come on, get your breakfast. Good morning, everyone. And how are we all? Did you have a good time last night, Martin? He's got a hangover. His breath smells. Did you ever see a face on him like that? Old Mr. Grumpy Guts, what is he? Old Mr. Grumpy Guts. Uh, now then, who's for coffee? Uh, I think Martin will be having his black, don't you? Come on. Just what do you think they're up to, hey? I hope you're not always going to be like this in the morning. Hello! Hello, Hello darling! Hi, everybody! Hello, Hello sweetheart! Oh, How's Alf? Oh, oh, it's a lot better. Oh. I'm sorry about last night. I don't know what I've done without you. Yeah. Oh, that's very kind. There's no need, really. And what sort of a state was he in last night? Oh, well, I was in bed when he got in, wasn't I? Well, you two get off to college. I'll see to the kids. Coming, Martin? Uh, no, no, I'll be in later. What shall I say? I'll just tell him I'll be in later, OK? Oh, take the notice of him. He's always like that when he's had too much to drink. <laughs> That's all right. I'm thick-skinned. I'll see you later, Martin. Bye, everyone. <sighs> all right, do you miss me? Oh, God. Think you better go back to bed. Our study of the movement of fluid between the tissues and I'd like you to complete your workbooks and hand them in on Friday. Thank you. Come here, you. Come here. We need to talk. You're being jarred me arm. Everyone's watching. Look, this needs sorting out. All right? Come on. What went on last night? Let go of me arm. Just don't move your own spine. Well, come on. You're right, we've got to talk. So, start talking, Carmel. What happened last night? You can't pretend.
pretend it wasn't wonderful for you as well. Come on now. Don't stop playing silly games with me, Carmel. You're too serious, fella. I mean it. It was the most wonderful night of my life. You're mad. <laughs> Do you know that? No, I'm not mad. I'm just madly in love. <laughs> Look, I've got to go. I'm late already. I'll see you later. You should be happy. Where are we going? Point where we can talk. You told anyone about this. You think I'm a fool? It's going to stop you, old man. No, not after last night. Oh, forget last night! Nothing happened between me and you, nothing! It did. We lay together for six whole hours, you and me side by side, and you say that's nothing. God, man, it's a night I'll never forget. I don't think I went to sleep. Right, that's it. I want you out of the house, OK? You can't turn me out. <laughs> look, look, I promise it won't happen again. I never do anything to hurt you. You are Gail. So please don't be angry with you me. You are bad. Do you know that? You are completely twisted. No, don't, don't say that, please. I mean, you don't want to upset me, or Gail. You're doing the best to break up our marriage, Carmel. Come on, Martin, it's not just one way. Oh, no. Be honest with yourself. I'm not that naive. You have feelings for me as well, I know that. Oh, yes, and where do you get this idea from? You've hardly kept it a secret. Who was it encouraged me to break it up with Michael. It was you told me to. That wasn't the reason. You must have known for ages how I felt about you. Uh, no. Just face up your feelings. Carmel, that's it. I've got no feelings for you. All right. Martin, you're a married man. Yes. He asked me to live in your house oh. so that we could be together to help look after your children. What did you expect me to think? You've imagined all this, Carmel. <laughs> I mean, I just don't know what to say. No. No, no, it's you. It's you haven't come to terms with us. Uh. Don't worry. It'll take time. It's Gail I feel sorry for. What's she going to do now? What do you mean? What's Gail going to do? Anyway, I'm going home for Christmas, so you'll have time to decide what to tell her. Could you put these away for the kids? Yeah. And this one's for you oh, and Martin. Oh, come on, you shouldn't. You'll be skinned. <laughs> sure, and it's nothing much. You've been so good to me, honestly. <laughs> well, you have a lovely Christmas. <laughs> and you. <laughs> oh, I wish I was staying. I really do. Oh. Come on, you must be pleased to see your family. Well, I can't wait to see the brothers and sisters, but I've got mixed feelings. In some ways, I'd rather be here. Oh, what ways? Michael can't accept that we've broken up. I have a terrible feeling he's going to make trouble. And what about you? Have you accepted it? Oh, Michael's history, as far as I'm concerned. I don't ever want to see him again. <laughs> oh, sponge bag. Yeah, I can't I was too awesome. Just got that taxi turned up. <laughs> we all full of I mean, I don't know what we'd have done without these past few weeks. Mm. Still, I think we'll manage, don't you? Mm. I think we might. Just get mm. by. Mm. Yeah, that's me ready. Um, have a good Christmas, both of you. <laughs> well, that'll be the taxi. Oh, I'll get it. Uh, you get the bags, I'll get the kids. Right, OK. Come on, kids, say goodbye to Carmel. Hi, Martin. Wish you were coming with me. You'll not be out of my thoughts. Yeah, well, Lily, oh, you'll miss your train. I mean it, Martin. Everything I said. Yep, so good. It'll be about ten minutes. Delayed. We are being Come on, kids. Say goodbye. Bye. Don't be sick on the boat. Have a nice time. Yeah, stop jumping up and down and say goodbye properly. See ya. See ya. Bye. Come on, you lot. Get yourselves ready for bed. We're all going to have an early night. Us and all, eh? Yeah, you bet we are. 